So today I'm going to speak in the favor of uh, inside out meniscus repair. So all of us know that meniscus need to be preserved and repaired. Which method to use for the repair? Of course, inside out. And at the end, Mukesh and Ranjit is going to agree with me at the end. So I think inside out versus all inside, is it really a debate? But actually, Chirag, George, Lucas wish to debate. So let's begin the Star Wars. So I think inside out is better than all inside. It has got significant less failure rate, better outcomes, more stable anatomic versatile repair technique. It has got less cost and equal complication rate. And the debate ends. Should I continue or? Okay. So looking at the literature 2022, July, uh, inside out failure rate is 5%. Four times higher, all inside has got 20% failure rate. So 5% and it's again a meta-analysis meta with five years follow-up. Another paper in Allied Athletes, 15% inside out, 30% failure rate of all inside. Another paper, five-year follow-up, meta-regression analysis, 10% failure rate of inside out and 16% of all inside. No difference was seen in complication rate, 7% both the cases. No difference in complication rate, 8% seen in both the cases. So the inside out is a gold standard, old is gold. So many surgeons advocate that inside out technique to the repair of the meniscus. You can see very well it is, I'm using the separate portal. I'm looking from the intermedial portal. So you are going perpendicular to the, your tier, both superiorly as well as inferiorly. You got a lot of flexibility to go inferior. Now, you can see it's a very anatomical reduction, superior as well as inferior, and a typical S-shaped fold is being seen, which we have described as the adequacy of meniscus repair with my friend Dr. Amin Razani as adequacy of AMR sign or S-shaped fold. Inside out has also got the versatility of location. You can do it for medial meniscus, lateral meniscus, body, anterior horn, zone one, zone two, zone three. So you can see in the zone two, you can safely go ahead and use an inside out technique. Even for a complex young 17 year old male, you can see we want to preserve the meniscus as zone three. The profile of all inside devices are so thick that you cannot repair the zone three. But with this smaller profile needles, you can very well go on the under surface, on the superior surface, go perpendicular to the tear and have a very stable configuration. Versatility of configuration is there in the inside out. Double horizontal, vertical, rebar, cross tie grouper, any kind of configuration you can make with inside out. You can use it for radial tear, horizontal cleavage, longitudinal ramp, complex and the bucket handle tear. So this is one example of the radial tear where I'm using a hashtag kind of configuration. Not only in the superior surface, I'm using a horizontal mattress, I'm using a vertical mattress for the radial, side, radial tear. But I'm going on to inferior surface as well, and on the inferior side also I'm creating a hashtag. So such a complex tier can be dealt very well with inside out. Talking about a bucket handle, this is one of the classical example in which you can repair whole of the bucket handle with an inside out technique. So reduce the tier, do a rasping, go with the inside outs. You can see the first stage I'm taking the center, I'm going posterior. So with safety in season, you can go up to a posterior of the medial meniscus. You can keep on putting more stitches on the superior surface. Once you pull the superior surface, the inferior surface will get lift. So that it's easy to pass onto the inferior surface. So this 13 stitches up and down is going to cost 5,000 only, which is going to be very expensive if you're using all inside device. So I think it is a one-stop solution for majority of tears. So I'm confused under which kind of a pressure you're using uh, all inside rather than inside out. It requires a simple cannula and simple instrumentation. The loop at the end, you can just put the fiber wire and you can re reuse it again. It do require an in-season, but over a period of time, you can manage by either, if it's a smaller tier, you can put the first sutures and then you can have a smaller in-season outside and then you can tie your knots. If it's a huge tier, then you can take an in-season first, put a spoon as a retractor so everything goes into the safety in-season and you can repair a big tear. So to take home, uh, inside out repair has got a low failure rate, it has got more secure fixation, perpendicular tear, better healing, versatility of zone, cost effective and equal complication rate. Thank you.